Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my future videos. In front of us we have the Studebaker SB2000. It's an AM FM portable radio that I purchased off Amazon for a total of $15. Let's see what $15 buys. A real cool retro looking radio in a limited edition color. Sweet. <laughs> Let's see what else we get. All right, on the box, portable AM FM radio, uh, auxiliary input jack, foldable handle, bunch of people having fun, partying out there. Looks like they're like, hey, who brought the radio? Yeah. <laughs> that person's like, where'd the radio go? <laughs> I got the food. All right, and then I uh, get the picture of the radio there. Yeah, I'm loving this thing. Um, portable AM, okay, portable, portable everywhere. Okay, on the back side, auxiliary input jack again. Rotary telescopic antenna, yeah. Runs off AC or 4C batteries, that's cool. All right, and the bottom I noticed, let's see here, who's this? Uh, distributed by Spectra, that's that name again, and I believe that was uh, uh, Spectra, what is that, Jensen, I think? Yeah, so Jensen made radio. Uh, this is just kind of like their like, little fancy retro line, so let's go see what we get in the box. Yeah, it's on my wish list for a while, and it was in different colors, and I saw a silver one pop up, and I'm like, 15 bucks? I'll buy it. I'll give it a go. That's in there. Oh, yeah, there's a manual in there. Come on. All right. Put the box over here. The manual. Kind of wrinkled a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Studebaker Portable AM FM Radio SB2000 Owner's Manual. Okay, please read this instruction carefully. Yeah, carefully. Limited edition color. Can't forget the limited edition color. They're probably all limited edition. That's the funny thing. <laughs> Make you feel important. All right. Um, really isn't much to this radio. I'm sure we can figure it out. I thought there was a little frequency range here somewhere. I'm trying to find it. Is that it? Specifications. There we go. There's your power output. 4 watt. Nice. Or that's the input. Maybe 4 watt input. Uh, here we got the frequency range 88 to 108 on FM and 535 to 1705 on the AM. Uh, possible cause for problems. You get a warranty. I think it's 90 days. Yeah, 90 days. Okay. And listening to your auxiliary sound. All right. We don't need that. We'll play with the radio. All right, the radio. Comes bubble wrapped. Came with an inner bag. It also came with like a tissue paper wrapped around it. And I took that off. It's kind of a hassle. Couldn't put that back on. So here's the radio with a little handle. Put that down, and there it is. The Studebaker. The thing that hits me right away is this big metal speaker grill. I love it. Looks cool. The whole thing about it looks cool. You know, it's all about looks. <laughs> uh, let's go over dimensions. Seven inches across, five inches tall, and a depth of three and a quarter inches. And if you can see this from back here at the handle to that front of that knob. All right. So let's go size comparison. I don't, I forgot to bring on a bigger radio, but we just bring this up. I don't know how big a CC pocket is, so I'll just bring that out and put it next to it. <laughs> a bigger radio. Yeah, definitely. And we got Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. There we go. All right. I'm going to bring this down a bit. All right. Let's get close and personal. So let's look at the features of this radio. Left hand side, we just have this uh, aluminum silver type colored paint. It's not the best. Um, I was carrying it outside a little warm today, and it actually it was like uh, kind of sticky. The paint wasn't that great. It was actually picking up my fingerprints. <laughs> so that was very interesting. Uh, but that's the limited edition color, silver. Sweet. Uh, here we're talking about that metal speaker grill. Pretty nice. Studebaker. Got a raised plaque there. I like that. Nice little touch. Here we have a rotary type dial. Uh, FM 88 to 108, and we have AM 530 to 1710 on the dial. And there's a little red indicator. See it moving around there. They kind of frosted the dial. I don't know why they frosted it. They should have left that clear so you could see that easier, but yeah, that's what they did. Here we have your volume, volume on off control. Okay. Right hand side, we have the band select FM AM. Then we have auxiliary in. There is no headphone jack on this radio. Uh, top of the radio, we have the handle that flips up. It's pretty handy. It feels pretty sturdy too. There's uh, batteries in here, and even with the batteries, it feels like that handle does pretty well. The antenna is a, yeah, snaps in there. Um, 360 variety, it spins around, and it extends out to a whopping 11 inches. That's where this radio kind of like, meh, in here. 
I get it, cost saving measures, but if they could have made this antenna like 24 inch, the FM reception would have been so much better. I know it for sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the back. And we'll talk about FM reception a little bit. So the back here, we got your, what does it say? Caution. Lightning bolt. Risk of electric shock. Do not open. What? Open what? Warning shock hazard. Do not open. Okay. I guess we're afraid of opening things. So I'm just going to open this battery compartment. And you can see it takes four C batteries. And it also runs off AC with the included AC cord. So it's got a little transformer in here. And that way you don't need any batteries if you don't want them. So that makes it really nice. You know, you just plug and play and done. And, you know, if this can be a radio in the kitchen or or wherever uh, you need it, a garage, whatever, it's perfect. Get some strong local stations on here and it rocks away. Okay. Gonna flip this back around. And that about the features. I was going to show you the bottom. There's a label there. It's at uh, frequency ranges, serial number, and then that's, I think it's a Spectra again down there. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely one of those Jensen radios. So, okay, FM reception. Let's talk about that. Uh, the reception report sensitivity was okay to good kind of right there with my analog radios I know it's because of this antenna. This is a DSP type unit You can hear it as you step which will you'll notice an AM band when we go cruise that Has a little distinct ding 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 ding, ding as you're you know doing your steps So uh, it, that little antenna I think affected its uh, reception So we got about 48 to 50 stations puts it in that average category a lot of my good analog radios get 48 stations so Right in there. Uh, selectivity, <clears throat> excuse me, on this unit was okay to good. The SP does lock on mid to strong uh, stations that are local, um, and I like that. It doesn't doesn't deviate. Um, faint stations, yeah, if you move it, you lose it. But uh, as far as the DSP handling, the stronger stations does it well, even when you're moving around, even with that tiny antenna. So uh, we'll do an audio test real quick. So that's the FM report. Uh, I have, what I'm going to do here, show you this. I usually use this for my, uh, the, uh, what do you call that, the playback with the CC um, transmitter 2, FM transmitter 2. I usually have that plugged into here, but for here, this has the auxiliary in, so I'll just use it. This is my MP3 player, standard cord here. I got a, you know, stereo patch cable, so we'll just patch it right into that auxiliary port, and we'll do a little audio test. All right. I guess I could leave this in there so you guys can kind of see what's playing. Play button, turn it on. Now I'm going to turn this up. So if you're listening to this with headphones, turn your headphones down.
Okay, you can turn your headphone volume back up. <laughs> Here we go. We've got to pause that. Yeah, that was... Uh, I try to push the limits of the speakers so you kind of get an idea of the volume, how much oomph it can put out. Uh, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to unplug this here. Uh, we're going to go to the AM band. We'll do some band scanning. Let me just set that aside there. Okay, so we got CC Pocket here. It is 1024 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois for location and time. If we find any long distance stations, let's try to use this to ID it. All right, so let's see what the Studebaker can do. During the day, it surprised me uh, on the AM band. Uh, it has a little birdie tones, yes, and that, but it actually did pretty good on pulling in long distance stations or semi long distance uh, during the day. I was pretty happy with that for 15 bucks. Uh, it's a great radio for daytime listening, for sports, for local sports, uh, semi local uh, talk shows, things like that. It just sounds really good. Uh, it is worth the 15 bucks right there. So let's go ahead and turn this up. At night, could be a different story. We'll find out. Transformers, okay. Now you gotta go slow. It's one of those DSP tuning devices. Now the cutting in and out is faint stations. Like I told you on the FM, it cuts in and out um, unless they're strong or moderately strong. some cut out there I think that's a kind of a weaker station on 640 I'm just gonna double check yeah it is so we're not able to get Nashville it looks like let me just see if I can get it in my pocket okay so Nashville is not coming in tonight 650 so it's not the radio's fault so it's gonna jump right to the 670 of the game oh, So if the Cubs win, they can open up a four-and-a-half game division lead. The Cardinals began the night five games in arrears. If that one hit came leading off the game. It's a 690. It sounds very weak. So help me help you get a great night of sleep. And don't sleep on this deal. Enter the promo code NCL so you can have fun with your pillows every single night. Just like 690, me. that's TSN uh, programming on Montreal, Quebec station, uh, 763 miles. As you can tell, it's having a hard time locking on. Beating off the bottom of the 11th inning. And uh, as Marty Brennan, the Hall of Famer, would say, to send them home happy. And that's, uh, that's exactly what we all do tonight. But at the same time, Take anything. D.T. Scofani's performance, he was terrific. Seven and two-thirds innings. Six hits, one run, one walk. So I'll be honest with you, this, this cutting in and out is kind of a pain. So this radio will probably be good for your locals only on your AM. But, you know, for 15 bucks, you plug it in, you get your local stations, it's fine. Um, it's a good size radio. I mean, ricocheted back into 15 bucks being a DX champion would have been nice on the triple <laughs> and uh and all of a sudden he turned it on to, to take third but he did a nice job uh, another double uh, you know throws a base hit out there seals a bag seals a okay so that is 740 CFZM Toronto Ontario 460 miles like I say it's probably going to cut in and out Okay, I'll just turn it up a little bit. Cool. So WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. It's kind of holding it. 
Cool. So I guess just make sure you're in the right direction. Seven sixty WJR Detroit. Attacked by pit bulls. Air and water show weekend. How exactly do those planes fly? And a judge is trying to get deported parents reunited with their children. WBBM Sports. And Jordan Diarman, Kyle Schwarber's home run remains Chicago, the Illinois. difference in the top of the ninth Cubs with the one to nothing lead over the Pirates in Pittsburgh. <laughs> forecast calling for a slight chance of rain tonight through much of the weekend. Tonight's low near 80. Tomorrow's high pushing near 100 again. Right now 93 degrees at Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. This news brought to you by Osco Office Furniture. Large jury award in Dallas County against Toyota today, $242 million. Okay, WBAP Fort Worth, Texas. That's pretty awesome. Wow. Uh, 810 miles. Collapsed on their young children in the backseat when it was rear-ended, causing traumatic head injuries. And arguing Toyota knew front seat passenger safety would come at the... And when he gets the chance to do that, most of the time they're walking, you know, so when he gets the chance to do that... Uh, this is 830 Minneapolis, Minnesota. WCCO. 310 miles. Making sure that Joe got shoved back out of his dugout. Went up to $200,000 on the new solid gold doubler. Or try folding money double bonus with a top prize of $50,000. Maybe bingo is your favorite game. Went up to six times and up to $25,000 on the new bingo scratch miles. Don't forget to download the app at Fire Safe Response. This message is brought to you by the Colorado Professional Firefighters. Because fire is everyone's fight. Your all-access pass to the Rockies is coming up tomorrow, two hours before the game with me, Corey Lopez. It's Rockies All-Access on KOA News Radio. All right, there you heard the call letters, KOA Denver, on 890 miles. Okay, I'm having a little respect for this radio. <laughs> Not bad. Eight sixty CJBC Toronto Ontario. Four hundred sixty miles. Let's see, we get eight seventy WLW. I'm oh, sorry, WWL. I was get that backwards. Wow, you're getting it better than my pocket. Uh, WWL New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. We're going to so 880 WCBS New York, 750 miles. Wildfires currently raging on. CKN. It's not going to cruise up the up the uh, band here. Long while to get it up. Not exactly smooth. Fun basketball player. Yeah, he's explosive. But I feel like this guy should be a football player. You heard the latest about LeVar Ball. Local, ESPN 1000. What's LeVar up to now? You know he's got this ball. Heart disease and strokes. And man. In terms of mental health, uh, is it uh, uh, possible for most couples... 1020, KDKA, really Pittsburgh. Therapy, uh, that's kind of, I guess, a 450 miles. Because, uh, uh, you would have a vested interest in saying yes. Uh, what about it? <laughs> well, I think, I, yeah, wow. I do, but, you know, I, Come I, clear. I, I spend about probably 50 years. I learned later that the woman in the big black dress and big black hair and lots of makeup downstairs uh, was Lori Cabot. Those are 1030 WBZ, Boston, Massachusetts, 880 miles. She actually turned out to be a very 
very good friends for years with no formal education and no particular skills. Her brothers had a little bit more status in the WHO, Black community Des Moines, in St. Louis, 280 miles. and that was very helpful to her, but she still had to struggle eek, and eke out her own way. And the work that she got was as a woman. So, hey, we'll try not to disappoint them at all. We're talking uh, Little Indians. They win today, 2-1. to one. I think this is the most I've ever heard anybody complain about a team that's 19 games over 500. Carlos Carrasco, he gets the win. W T A M. now on the season. Cody Allen, 1100. Save of the year. Jose Ramirez, 37 home Ohio. run of the year. 345 miles. Lead the league in hole, or at least be tied with J.D. Transit is a proud sponsor of St. Louis Cardinal Baseball. Cardinal baseball tickets. Missouri lottery tickets. One gets you into the KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles. Games you love to play. Maybe even win something. And imagine what you. Constitution is under. So it's going to kind of roll up the band here. Some of those dirty tones. Clear of it. Get, get a piece. Get an orange. Don't get it in the little containers with syrup in it. Too much sugar. They're just trying to figure out the common ground on how they will pay this thing up. Kirk, I mean, what if he wants franchise quarterback money? Is he worth franchise quarterback money right now? Mm. See, Mar, this is what I always say, though. And this is what I think. 1530 WCKY. Have different philosophies. Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. On the Iowa High School Scoreboard Show, next. Brought to you by Grinnell Mutual. Tomorrow, at Grinnell Mutual. We are always looking forward to tomorrow, as we have for over 100 years. So you... 1540, Waterloo, uh, Iowa, this is KXEO. We are planning ahead. 210 miles. So enjoy life without looking back. Trust in that. Trust in tomorrow. Top's all right about there. All righty, so we are done with that. Okay, great. Got a little EM band scan, which surprised me more than I thought. Very happy with that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do final thoughts on the Studebaker. Turn that off. Okay, the Studebaker SB2000. Um, this is a limited edition color. <laughs> like I said, I don't know if the other ones are limited or not. Uh, so what about it? It's fourteen ninety nine. It's on Amazon. It's really not a bad radio. Yeah, the DSP takes a while to get used to, but I love the rotary dial here. It seems like you get a lot, a lot of room here to dial in stations, which is nice. I noticed that it was very easy for me to, to tune if, if I took my time with the DSP. Um, it was fairly accurate, and it was selecting out the stations pretty nicely, uh, especially the more semi-local ones in the evening here. Um, enjoy that. Love the metal speaker grill. Not sure the speaker size. Um, it's approximately three inches. Um, they don't say anywhere. I couldn't really see or tell, but I'm approximating it around three inches. Possibly. It sounds like a 3-inch speaker when I'm, I'm running it. Uh, let's see. Talked about the little antenna. Yeah, it kind of hurts on the FM a little bit. But you will be able to do decent with it. Uh, so if you're used to an average uh, analog receiver, you'll probably have the same result. If you clipped a little wire to it or found a different whip antenna that you could attach to it, by all means do it. Get better reception. Love the fold-out handle. It is very durable. I like the fact that it takes 4C batteries. I know I'd like it to see it take Ds, but since it doesn't, 4Cs, this thing's got to run for a long time without hooking up to anything, which is really nice. 
Uh, but not having to worry about batteries right away. If you just wanted a radio for the home, plug it in and go. You're you're gonna have a fun experience with this thing. And there's all these different colors too. So yeah, you know what? This is gonna get a buy for me for 15 bucks. Heck yeah, all day long. Um, yeah, there's no doubt about it. It's just uh, get your money's worth for sure. Definitely. And then you've got the auxiliary import. And for radio this size, not having a headphone jack isn't a deal breaker. Though it would be cool to have a tuning indicator or dial light. That would look really sharp on this radio. But I know for 15 bucks, you can only ask for so much. But I'll bet you those people are industrious. My clients, myself included, yeah. <laughs> Put an LED in there, a couple of LEDs. Light up that dial, make it like a cool, but I'd probably do like a cool white LED, like a white, white LED because of the color scheme here. Uh, but if it was a different color, I might go with an amber light. Just ideas. <laughs> so there it is. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the presentation of the Studebaker SB2000. I appreciate that. Two, um, if you're like Studebaker, who makes that? Well, Jensen does. You want to know more about those products? Hit subscribe, hit the bell icon. I try to review these radios whenever I get a new one in. I like to showcase them, and here we go. There's another one. I'm pretty happy with the result with this one, so definitely a buy. Um, three, comment below what you think about the Studebaker, the design. Is it for you? I actually like the design of this radio. I think it looks pretty sharp. Um, I love the black, white, silver scheme. It just it works for me. I mean, I really like it. I think that's neat. Uh, yeah, it's not going to last. I'm sure this paint feels pretty cheap. I mean, they have to give and take somewhere. Um, and I'm sure that's what they, they did with the finish here. But surprise that this is metal. That was a, that was a big bonus there. So uh, for support the channel, if you like, uh, if you like this radio and it's 15 bucks, you're going to buy it anyway on Amazon, click the link. I'll have all these links for these different colors. It'll be the silver one here. And I think there's a black one. There's a teal one. There's a white one, I think. So yeah, just if you feel like buying one of these for 15 bucks and you're going to buy it anyway and you want to support uh, the channel, the radio waves. So by all means, click it and uh, get like a... You know, 50%, not 50%. <laughs> if, I did, if I did, I'd be rich, yeah. 4%, like kickbacks, so probably like a buck or so, maybe. Maybe half a buck, so yeah, it's cool. I appreciate it. And then five, I think, I, one, two, three, four, five. I think I've gone through a bunch. Check out uh, Patreon here. Uh, go over there and take a look. Take a look around. I got a lot of old-time radio shows. If you guys are into that, I love it. Uh, we got a lot of open posts there inside of radios. Just different stuff that you guys will like. Kind of like the after hours. Todd Herbert. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.